<laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. We are headed down to the barn to do chores, and we are back at school today. So uh, this may be a day in the life of homeschooled far horse farmers. It is still super icy out here, as you can see. There were even icicle or snowflakes on our car when we woke up this morning. Everything is icy. You can see the steam of my beet pulp, and it's not even very hot. Ooh, it's warm in the barn. It's warm, Willow. Hello, sweet girl. Nice and warm in here. It is, oh, lots of poop out there. Uh, two degrees. It's two degrees, but that's first thing in the morning. So not too bad. <laughs> She's like, she is crazy. Spooked by Ruby. Do Dads are crazy. Stella's about to go out the door she and, door you yeah, the horse should have said door. She should have said door. Oh, yes. The night we slept in the barn, you guys, they did not lay down that whole night. Aww, look at her, she's so sweet. Until she kicks Ruby. Don't do it. Yeah, so we are letting Stella out and Sam decides to screw something into the wall. And Stella was like, ah, help me! But we're gonna get another one of these and we're gonna... Don't be collecting. Those yeah. Here. yeah, those are dress I think I brought my dress. Well, let's check the back. Yeah, they're all. We have more than that I here. Need to take them off right now. Yeah, we can't leave them here. Why can't we leave them here? Because as soon as Willow figures it out, she's gonna come over here chew them. No, it's not gonna be Willow. It's gonna be Stella. Stella will pull all of them on the ground. We should leave it and try. We almost have our cameras ready to be set up, and we'll be able to watch. But for now, we should take them down because we. we this is, will be Willow's reaction. No, she's not afraid of whips. There is always kissing going on in our day, you guys. So much kissing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until Willow loses that hair. Smile, smile. She's like, I really want a treat. Smile, smile, smile. Smile, smile, smile. I can't wait to see that beautiful little face without all those ha all that I hair want hanging teach down. Her when she's done at the show, I want to say smile, and then she just smiles. Yeah, she's so smart. She, I want to sit down out here and just like have this pony kiss me all day. You should teach her to rear and to sit down. I want to teach her how to rear. Yeah, and how to sit down. down the street like an alien they say time will heal but i don't have patience you packed your things now we begin the erasing All the like that was like one separate field separate field like, are you planning our future farm yes yeah because our arena is not gonna be back there oh, i want our arena back it's here in the front? Yes. So this is a hay field. That's a hay field. I want people to see me riding. You want people Plus to drive by and be like, whoa, look at that girl riding. Because yes. they actually ride their horses. But think about but it this way. It's a bomb proof because that shows lots of outdoor shows are by the highway. Okay, but listen, think about this. Think about how spooky your horse will be when cars are riding by all the time, especially if people honk. Which is good practice. For when it's horse show. Okay, listen to what I was thinking. Because I was thinking. No needs it. Listen, I'm thinking about having our horses in that field over there once it's all cleared out. Like I love that field. Sam and I were just talking about it. All behind the barn. See the barns there. Big, huge field. There could be a gate right over there, and then this over here where it's all flat, mostly flat, no. could be the no, outdoor. Mom. Nope. Okay, listen to my idea. Outdoor. Okay. So flat. I want like some separate fields. So a little over stinker. There. Like on the edges of yeah. our land stops, and then like your land stops on the edges where our land stops. Really? Yeah, and then like a uh, like round pen or something. Yeah. So that like the horses can see it. All right, so anyway, that's what I think. I think that this is the perfect no, spot. Come on, okay. Come on, come on, on a 
walk with this Okay. Guy. Back this here. Be a big deal. Back here, they could still hear the traffic. What do you want? There, like, I want it to be like a little round ring here. Yeah. So uh, there's like a lunging ring. Yeah, like, see, mom? Good practice. For when it goes by. Yeah, but from back here, they can see the traffic going by still. So over here, there's a fire pit and a lot of stuff got burned before we moved in. Um, a lot of stuff actually got cleaned off this property. But all this has to do is just be cleaned up. Sam and I have a lot of stuff that we need to burn still. I <laughs> So in December, this was like the burn pit, the burn pile. I like this idea for a ring. Like look at how big it could be. Run across there, Sophie. Run across and show them how big it would be. I love it back here. It's kind of private. I don't want the riding ring to be here. I want like a round ring. We could do a round ring, but why couldn't we put the round ring someplace else? I mean, why couldn't we put the riding arena up here and then put a round ring over here? Everybody has an opinion. You guys remember when we first moved here and I couldn't even I couldn't even walk? I barely could even get up the stairs and then now just two months later. Oh it is icy. Just two months later I can like walk anywhere and do anything. I'm like a regular person again. So I like it. I like it. I love this idea. I mean, even this side of the property could be a riding arena or an outdoor arena. Sophie does want to have a bunch of fields, like different fields, but we're only gonna have three, maybe four horses, hopefully at some time four horses. And I don't think we need too many fields for that. We need a summer field and a winter field. Sophie, we just need a summer field and a winter field. Yeah. Um, Anyway, when we do an outdoor arena, we will be paying somebody to do it for us. We will not be doing it ourselves, like we're kind of trying to do the indoor arena. We are back up from the barn and the girls are just having breakfast and then we're gonna do chores. And then, guys, back to school, guys, you guys. That's hip for toaster strudels. So when you have two of these and two of these, you always want to just eat the icing. We'll say one of these and put it all over both of them, then this one's the icing that you eat. I literally have never ever, ow, Levi! Ow! <laughs> Sometimes he just gives me love bites. That did not actually hurt. I... Anyways. It's because we were blowing on them. Sophie is wearing her Lemieux base layer. A lot of you guys did not know she probably had one, but she does. Gabby's been bothering her, saying, you never wear it, give it to me. But it's cute, I like this color on you. Gabby's screaming because she wants it. Levi wants it apparently too. <laughs> so, um, I told God last night that, well this was before I went to bed, if I see, if I make any friends there and it's their first time showing, I'll try and let them win. Oh, that's so kind. At the show? I don't care if I win. That's amazing, Sophie. You have a kind heart, but you should always do your best because nobody wants to be let to win. Let it be a fair fight. But I'm not right. I know. Sophie will give anybody anything. She's like me like that. Because I'm nice. Yeah, because you have a big heart. Mm -hmm. A couple of days ago, I posted on Instagram and said, hey, this is the book I'm reading right now. What are you guys reading? And you guys, uh, like 170 people, I think, commented on it and said, this is what I'm reading. And then I got the idea, actually somebody said, you should join Goodreads. And I already have an account on Goodreads, um, but I decided to start a new one. And it is Day by Day Vlogs, all one word. If you guys want to add me on Goodreads, we can follow each other's reading journey. So basically, because it's a new account for me, I just have four books on here. show you what it looks like. This is my Goodreads, my new Goodreads. Um, it allows you, when you open it up, to uh, set a goal for the year. So I set that I wanted to read 12 books this year. I'm so busy, sometimes I don't get a chance to read as much as I used to. But um, uh, Seraphine and the Twisted Staff, the girls and I just finished. I just finished The Downstairs Maid. Uh, last week I read The Silent Patient, which was really good. And the girls and I are about to start making bombs for Hitler. So if you guys want to join us on there, it would be another fun way that we can connect together. If you guys have any um, challenges or something you want me to do on my channel, let me know.
So, okay. Sophie is our challenge girl and she wants and to do that. I just washed off all the blood because I um I washed all off all the blood because I killed someone. An orange. <laughs> <laughs> I cut it into a knife and then I ripped it apart. Okay, so she is our <laughs> challenge girl and our murderer. <laughs> We're just headed down to feed the horses and then we're gonna head out to go try a horse. Sophie, when you put that horse riding shirt on, that Lemieux shirt on today, that base layer, did you have any idea that you were gonna get to try a horse today? No. I'm like, I'm gonna surprise Gabby. <laughs> and then, like, it just happened that we're looking at a horse. Every day holds the possibility of a miracle, you guys. Every single day, you never know what's gonna happen when you get out of bed. So get out of bed and start your day. Sophie had to go to the barn and grab her riding boots and she I bought find the other one. She got her new ones. Well they're kinda of They're a bit big. But anyway. Sophie, mare. Sophie, what do you think about trying a horse? I love her, I love her. Okay, so and it's I a mare and it's good to know that other people have mud at their farms, but it's still not as muddy as our farm. Okay, so basically it's I think that might be yeah. her. It's a Do not walk in the water, you're killing your shoes. I don't it's care. a mare, it's a pony. 14.2 or 14.3. Um, it's a lease. Is that her? Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. her, but that's what it looks like. Cute. Oh my goodness. Imagine if that really was her. Um, okay, she's been attacked. This horse has been attacked. Do you know how you know? You don't want attacking horses. No, she's been attacked. Look at her butt. Yeah, no, I don't want a horse that. Okay. Look, she's got braids in. Hi, you're so cute. I go to somebody else's house. He takes pictures of their stuff that he wants. <laughs> yeah. Are you the horse? We don't know. She's pretty though. That's her. Yeah. That's she awesome. is so pretty. Holy cow. She Look has at her. Thick tail. You can tell she's a pony. She has like so much. You can see the personality in her. Look at you. He's like, what's on your boots? Mom, this is Braxton. That is Braxton. Pretty girl. So how tall is she? 13'3". 13'3"? Yeah. 13'3". She looks big. She is not as tall as Rumor. That's how I know. She's a, uh, a small, large pony. She's a small, large pony. Is that medium? Just over medium, just under a large. Oh, okay. 13? Okay, is it 14? 13.3 to 14.2 is a large, and then 13. Okay. She's yeah. between a medium and a large. Yeah. Gabby's like, hey, I'm taller than this horse. I like her. She's cute. What breed is she? She's a Connemara. She's a Connemara. Connemara or Connemara? Connemara. Sophie, you're gonna ride a Connemara. And then we'll... All right, so Sophie, I was gonna be like, you know what? You should ride this horse first. Let it be I your. I want to ride her first. You can. I feel like you can yeah. get on and ride her and walk her around. Here. Look at how thick that horse's hair is. She looks homeless, okay? <laughs> it's on the other side too. She's beautiful. Like She's beautiful. Her, her mane's oh, I like her. I think I know. Sophie, are you gonna ride first? Oh my God, this horse is way too nice for us. <laughs> She is a Connemara. How old is she? She'll be eight this year. She's going to be eight. This dual paw. I think this is the wrong side. Get on and we'll fix it. She's so pretty. Are you used to that side or am I coming on the other side? Yeah. Alright, I'll turn around. We need to... We need to build some muscles on the other side of our body. She is so pretty. I want a Connemara. Connemara. Sophie put on a riding shirt this morning. Can we buy him instead? <laughs> Can we buy him? He does not like the mud. <laughs> He would not go through the mud. He would only go on the grass when I called him. <laughs> I turn around and Gabby's got a puppy in her arms. Keep your hands soft. I'm nervous too. Gabby's like, can Gabby go first? 
You got it, Sophie. Sophie's giving her your pep talk. I never, I'm nervous riding another horse I've never ridden before, so just trust me. Sophie, don't be, don't be nervous. No, 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 big breath, Sophie. Big breath. Big breath. You got it. There you go, stop it. Gabby, it's because Sophie has a... Death grip? <laughs> Sophie has a death grip. There you go. Sophie, hold on. Sophie, this horse is the one that you're going to be riding, so. You're going to keep walking tonight. You want Gabby to ride her first? Yeah, let's let Gabby do it. You ready, Gabby? You ready? We can even lease it. A new pony. <laughs> Look at over there. Look at how cute. He's skiing with his water bucket. Isn't he adorable? Who knows what the, who that horse is? Apparently he's like 200 pounds already. Kind of like Tex? She is adorable. Don't check my phone, I don't wanna face it. Everything feels wrong and there's no replacing. What we had is gone and it's all too late. I'm better off, but I can't deal with this aching. The days move so slow, I know I gotta go. But I can't, but I can't, I can't get Yeah, you told me he did it the other day. Make your circle a little bit bigger then and you can just pick up the little trot. Do you like her? No, I think they'll die <laughs> My kids are big chickens. Make your circle, come on. Is she? Go. Move out of the way. Circle. Bigger circle. Bigger circle and pick up that trot, brave girl. No, Sophia so can't ride her. I already know it. Alright, but try a trot. No. Don't face her towards there. Go around. In oh other gosh. words, she's afraid to trot her. And Sophia can't ride. <laughs> At least she's admitting it. We have to bring some riders with us. To... Some actual people who will ride first. So if somebody else rode first, like Kaylee, then Gabby would have nerve. All right, you ready? The fool is bucket. <laughs> you have. Uh, just hanging up there. You know how to control a horse. The you should be fine. Bucket. You should be fine by yourself. Can you please babysit me? Just for a little bit at least. Baby. Oh look, she's a lot better already. phone I don't want to face it everything feels wrong and there's no replacing what we had is gone and it's all too late and I'm better off but I can't deal with this aching the days move so slow I know I gotta go but I can't but I can't I can't get anyway cause I'm still
get a horse that the girls are nervous to ride she was a lot of horse she was cute she was way too responsive she was super responsive need. like my kids need a dead horse you guys like they need something it was outside she hadn't been ridden in three weeks there's like a bunch of stuff but we learned we learned from in the from our past we learned that we can't just get every horse that we she was gonna be a lease and we could and we could give her back as soon as we found like a gelding for us to buy so it would have been a great situation but I don't want to get a horse that my kids are nervous on and yeah they could learn to ride it and they actually do need to learn to ride other horses but it's not I've learned from the past that if my kids are scared they're not they won't they won't ride <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.